I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll outside Cleveland Police 5th District Headquarters. As investigators continue searching for the driver who hit and killed a 7-year-old boy Friday night, a devastated community calls for an arrest in the case. Who do we want justice for? I'm here. When do you want it? More than 200 friends, family, and community members filled the street where a hit and run driver ran over seven year old Amir Pruitt Friday evening. I hope you don't get no sleep at night. And this mother don't get no sleep at night. Cleveland police say the boy was riding a skateboard outside the Lakeshore Beach apartments when the driver of this Mercedes SUV hit Pruitt, dragged him, and drove off. He was being a kid. Ray Shonda Macklin was Pruitt's mother. She calls the loss of her little boy with a big smile devastating. My heart is a hole. It's empty. I'm empty. She says Amir would have loved all this attention, but this mother haunted by the question, who killed her son? The killer could be amongst me right now, and I wouldn't know because nobody wants to speak up. And that's something that needs to change, Cleveland City Councilman Mike Polensic told the crowd. They came in here for a reason. They know somebody in here. Somebody's connected to the driver of the car. You owe it. You owe it to this family. You owe it to the, to the mother. Polensic says police found the SUV that hit the boy about two miles away near East 174th in St. Clair. Police say it was empty. Neighbors here eager for an arrest. Because that was a baby. Yeah, shouldn't no parent feel like that right now. Shouldn't no parent feel like that at all. But for this mother who does, a message for the driver who ran down a seven-year-old, leaving him in the street, now stained with skid marks. Y'all killed my baby. Y'all killed a seven-year-old. Drug and scorch marks through this parking lot and didn't even stop. Just turn yourself in. If you have any information about who was driving that Mercedes SUV around 720 Friday night, Cleveland police want to hear from you. In the city's Collinwood neighborhood, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll.